What is up YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to shiny hunt the current mass outbreak event for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And we're going to be featuring the one of the most difficult shiny living uh, dex forms you can do in the game. And that is going to be Flabibi. Flabibi has a total of 15 you're going to need to catch. And you got some time. You got until December 21st. But let's see how many you can knock out as quickly as possible. And of course, guys if you like this type of content enjoy these videos please leave a like subscribe if you're new i really appreciate it and consider supporting the channel by joining the pan fam by hitting that join channel member button below now so there are two events happening right now the flabibi which is going to be in the paudia map and litwick and kitakami there is no boosted marks but they do have a boosted chance of being shiny now on december 14th milkery will be in the indigo Diz dlc and you need to catch a total of seven of these for all the different shiny forms of Alcremi, and there's a total of seven different shiny Alcremis that have uh, actual visual differences to them. So you can do this same strategy with the Milkeries here. So one, let's talk about Flabibi, right? Flabibi, as I mentioned, has a bunch of different flowers. There is actually a total of five. There is a red flower, there is a blue flower, there is an orange flower, there is a white flower, and there is a yellow flower. Now, the shiny isn't the easiest thing to tell. It has blue eyes instead of like the brownish eyes, brown black eyes, and its bottom is actually like this blue purple color, and that is gonna be consistent on every single one of these. Now, of course, they all evolve and they keep the same flower. So if you wanna get a shiny living dex of this Pokemon, you're gonna need to capture three of each flower, three times five is 15. You're gonna have to do 15 shiny hunts. Now, luckily the mass outbreaks are popping all over the map and they're all fairy types, obviously they're the same Pokemon. So it's not too bad. Now the shiny rate has been boosted and it was a boost of 0.5%. So your absolute best odds here is if you have the shiny charm, you cleared an outbreak, which you should have cleared an outbreak to be fair, because you know, they're all over the map and sparkling level three from a shiny sandwich. And with this additional uh, boost, you're going to have a one out of 144 odds, which is pretty solid. Honestly, that is actually a really solid shiny odd right there. So this is a great event to get it. And with this method I'll show you, you're gonna be able to get them pretty quickly. So one, how do you get this mass outbreak event? Connect to the internet in the game, then check the Poke Portal news. It'll download the latest news and you will have all of the current event stuff and you're doing it as the time of recording. You will be getting the Flabibis all over your map. And as you can see, they're gonna be golden outbreaks. So you know, these are the special ones and they did fix it so that the color that is indicated on the map will be the one spawning and those will be the only ones spawning, making it relatively easy to actually get the ones you need. Now to actually do the shiny hunt. So one, I wanna do a shiny hunt where I can hunt for an outbreak that is near a like Pokemon center or a town. So I can do a town reset. Now, if you don't know what a town reset is, essentially when you walk into a town, it despawns everything and then you leave it, new spawns come back. It is a lot faster than picnic resetting, which is why I really like it. And it's the ultimate shiny hunting method in Scarlet and Violet. Now, this one's not close enough to really town reset with because the Pokemon Center is too far away, but I think it's just easier to get like focus on ones on the town. So and let's say you got one right here. That'd be perfect. One right here. That would have been perfect, right? Or one right around here. That would be really perfect. So those are the ones you're trying to aim for. Of course, there's more of them. There's a lot in the Paudia map, so it's not gonna be too hard to get one. So I don't have a good one on my map. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the home button. You're going to go all the way to your system settings all the way down to system date and time and you're just gonna hit okay and back all back out and then go back and then if you did it right you should be getting new mass outbreaks on your map and you're just gonna have to check your map again and be like okay i got some new mass outbreaks are any of them where i want them to be and there's probably a good chance you didn't get it on the first try and that's a-okay I mean, this one, uh, not good enough for me. So I'm just going to keep on resetting until I get one I like. Uh, just make sure you don't have this menu open when you're doing it because it's not going to actually show all the resets 
So after a few resets, I found this really good mass outbreak right here. You can see it's right on the edge of the town, so I can just walk in and out of the town. So I'm going to take this one. Now, of course, you don't have to do this step that I did here. Completely optional. It just makes the process a little bit faster when you are resetting, and especially when you're at the beginning of your hunt trying to go for all 15 of the shinies. I think it's best to start here. But we got a yellow flower, so I'm going to try to get three yellows here as my personal goal is complete my living shiny deck. So as you see, we got them here. None of them are shiny, but to in further increase our shiny odds, well, one, I'm going to save my game here because we already did some work. And now we need to knock out 60. And I will say we need to knock out 60 before we even do a sandwich or anything like that because we don't want to waste our sandwich timer or anything. And it's just more optimal to knock out the 60. And it's very important to knock out the 60 because you get additional two shiny rolls when you do it. So I was knocking out 18 and I ended up getting a shiny right here. Also, if you didn't know, you can hit down on the D-pad to go into first person. But yeah, I got a shiny. Uh, just on 18 knockouts right here super easy stuff another way for you to easily tell if it's shiny if you don't really want to do the first person mode or any of that you could very well just hit the auto battle button it's the wrong button there but if you just hit auto battle auto battle pokemon won't knock it out they can't kill shinies so there we go one shiny for bb down very easily i mean hey we got lucky and i'll take it that's what the power of the shiny charm does for you sometimes out here now that we have knocked out 60 we're gonna go ahead and save our game very important that you save your game because you don't want to lose your 60 knockouts here now we're gonna go set up a picnic can't do it in the town you can do it outside of the town and with this picnic here, we are gonna be making a fairy type sandwich. Now, fairy type sandwiches are incredibly easy to make. And in most cases, you can really just do one tomato and any two Herba Mystica. Any two Herba Mystica will work. However, if you want to make a fairy type sandwich that does not have encounter power, and I'll say encounter power is not good in terms of outbreaks because it doesn't make the outbreak spawn any better, but it does make it so other Pokemon spawn that can take away from your outbreak. So I would not recommend it. So I recommend one tomato and two of the spicy herbs if you have that option. It's very nice because we're going to make sure no other fairy type Pokemon are boosted. I don't want to deal with that. And of course, these sandwiches are incredibly easy. Now, if you don't have Urban Mystica, then you can just skip this step entirely. It is not necessary. It does drastically increase your shiny odds for the next 30 minutes, and you definitely want to optimize it. However, if you don't have it, it's fine. You're still going to have great shiny odds in this event, whether you have this sandwich or not. And with the one tomato, two spices, I have Sparkling level three, Tidal level three, and Humongo level three. So there's a good chance that these Flababies will be bigger which is always great honestly it makes it a lot easier to see if they're going to be shiny or not so now for the shiny hunt to actually begin so these pokemon actually won't attack you or anything like that so you can do what i call a run up method to each one and just look at them and see if you see a blue part on their chest and they will actually eventually follow you as well so if you can just like circle up around them all and then bring them up to the town reset edge you're going to be able to just to very easily see them all at once and be able just to look at them in the first person by hitting down on the d-pad be like okay you're not blue you're not blue you're not blue you're not blue all right and you know you saw a good amount of them of course it would be more thorough than i'm doing right here but i didn't see a shiny hit town reset they all despawn make sure to despawn before you come back and now they're gonna be spawning up in this area so we're gonna once again keep on doing this running around looking at each one and just trying to see if we can get that shiny of course they are small but you know we are using the thing that makes it so that they're going to be at least a little bit bigger so you know it could be a lot worse which is why i recommend this sandwich to make it a lot easier honestly if you are playing on a handheld switch this is definitely gonna be a lot harder i'm playing this on a tv so i'm a little bit privileged in that regard but you know either way it's gonna be a brutal hunt but, you know, once again, you rack them all up. You got a good amount of them. Go into that first person mode. Be like, okay, I made sure that none of you guys are shiny. Then you guys got that blue base, blue eyes. Okay, and you're not blue either. And bam, just going to go back, reset, and just keep on doing this until I eventually get the shiny. And that only took me about five minutes, but we got ourselves another shiny little 
Couple of BB right here. Honestly, relatively easy hunt. These boosted shiny odds are making this a lot easier, honestly, because truly this can be a lot harder without the boosted odds and checking up on each one can be definitely annoying but hey that's number two we just need one more and this one took a little bit more time our last one right here you know 14 minutes but hey i got my three shiny just like that very fast very easy incredibly chill shiny hunt right here for me for the flabibi and honestly you just got to keep on doing this for every single one if you want to have that living shiny dex or if you don't care then you got your three you're good to go you got your living shiny dex for that one color and that's good enough as well i will also recommend i forgot to mention this before but i will recommend having a false swipe user like delayed or breloom or decidueye or something like that always nice to have a false swipe user knock them down to one and then you put them as Put them in a very pretty pokeball whatever you like maybe a ball that will match each color so there we have it guys that is going to be the easiest way to shiny hunt for the food bbs and try to get all 15 of these my recommendation is once you clear a color just go back start resetting and hope you get another good on a town reset but if you don't care about the town reset you could just go to another outbreak knockout 60 and try to find a good reset where you can see the full entire outbreak and you'll be able to get your 15 spawns run up and then do a picnic reset that way. It's gonna be up to you, but I still have my sandwich running with 15 minutes left, so I'm gonna try to go for another trio of flowers. And of course, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a great one.